Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Brew Dude coming at you with another brew review. Today I'm coming at you with Rosalo by Chihuahua Cerveza or Chihuahua Brewing Company. Uh, that's right, I had to come back at you guys with the second video today. So, um, anyway, uh, Rosalo, funny name, si hablas español, um, is actually a beer brewed with um, hibiscus and ginger, or in español, jengibre and uh, Jamaica so um, I guess this is why it has like that rose color rose um, so if anything uh, let's go on into uh, look look into reviewing the beer but if anything uh, just a reminder that this beer is vegan guys um, I verified uh, directly with the the beer uh, brewing company I guess I hit them up on IG and they responded that they're Brewmaster says it's vegan, so you can't find that on barnaboard.com, but I will leave a link for barnaboard.com where you can see if your beer is vegan or not. Alright, so let's go ahead and on to reviewing the packaging. Let's check it out. Chihuahua. Rosado. So, if anything, it's a pretty, pretty cool packaging. Overall, they have like that same cohesive look as I've said in the previous two videos. They have the cute little chihuahua dog. Uh, they have the color, in this case, related to the hibiscus plant or petals. And then they have a little white right there uh, describing or well, letting you know the name of the of brewery. And then like on the side, or right here on the side as well, it lets you know the, the name of the beer, Rosado in this case. Uh, so, I don't know why. Overall, it's a it's pretty pretty cool. Um, as I said in the previous one with limon, the limon had like a little description or like little pictures of the limon or the lime. Here it has the same thing with the um, like the rose petals or the, the pe sorry the petals of the hibiscus flower or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a spank, man. Spank certified, spank certified for the uh, packaging, and then uh, oh, it's in here for the. The bottle, it looks nice as well, it looks fancy. So it takes a spank for the packaging. Now let's go ahead and check out um, the beer, man. Let's go ahead and see how good it tastes and how good it resembles like ginger and hibiscus. You may have noticed I have another drink here. It's actually hibiscus tea. So I'm gonna try to compare, see if it remains too true to it. My granted, I do put some sugar on mine, so. It has a distinct smell overall. The head is kind of pink. Eh, not too pink, but kind of pink. This one has more head than the previous beers. Look at that color. It's kind of like a amberish gold. A little like pink, I guess. I don't know. Looks nice. The head is completely gone from this Mexican lager or a Mexican pilsner. You can see right through it. It has it has like a strong floral smell to it. Um, I don't know if you know. Uh, I don't know if I explained it before, but like pilsners usually like don't have hops or not as many hops. Yeah, it smells pretty, uh, pretty floral. It has like a hint of like freshness and spice. I don't know if that's because of the ginger. Let's go ahead and taste it. It's light body. Honestly, I don't, I don't get the taste of hibiscus. Yeah, no, not at all, not at all. Um, yeah, I hate to say it, but this beer is actually gonna take a whatever for me. It's whatever's man. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not winning, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and, and drink the rest of the six pack, and I'll come back to you guys with the buzzability test. Unfortunately, this is the weakest of the beers that I tried from Chihuahua so far. But I mean, it's it's not the worst one. 
I mean, in terms of like lagers or anything like that, but it's good beer. So just check it out. I mean, it's decent. Don't believe the hype though. It's, it's not all that for me. All right, brood heads, we're back with the Blizzard Belly Test. I drank this in about, I don't know, like an hour or so. Um, it's a good buzz. I mean, it's 5.0% alcohol, just like the previous two I reviewed. However, I'm slightly disappointed with this beer. It was hyped up to me by some people. Um, I'm not gonna mention any names, but yeah, it was, it was kind of hyped up to me. And honestly, I think their strongest beer so far, as I said, I gave it a spank, um, was the El Primero. Uh, that one was the best one. This one was, it wasn't very pleasant to drink over time, like drinking the whole six pack, well, the five beers and then drinking this, I guess. But um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I'm sorry, but no, this is, this is not one of the best beers they have. To you who told me before that this was one of the strongest, I don't think it is. Um, El Primero is probably the strongest beer they have. So far from what I've tried, I still have one more to go. But yeah, I don't, I don't wanna talk shit on this beer, but it's, it's, it's just not as great as people told me, yo. Know? The smell, the smell is good, man, and it's, it's refreshing when you drink it. It totally is, you know? I can agree with that, but... I'm not really... Like, you hardly get the hibiscus, like, at the end. And then, like, ginger is... I might say non-existent, but... You know? Like I said before, man, um, it took a dub. I'm sorry, it took a whatever. Um, it's not winning, but it's it's good. Uh, overall, in terms of buzzability, it's good buzz, but it's it's hard to drink continuously because of the taste. But yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk bad about it anymore because I feel like I feel like I'm talking a lot of smack. But yeah, that, that's it for today, guys. If anything, um, like the video if you liked it. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, man, don't think that don't think anything wrong about Chihuahua Brewing Company just because this one has a whatever. I think that's probably the lowest score I give them one. But they're they're good, man. They're good. Um, have a good day, guys. Have a good night. I'll watch you another time. Cierto, antes de irme, quiero mandarle saludos al compa Ecum allá en Baja Califas. Saludos, cabrón.